Hey everybody, it's Susie and I'm here with my 35 week pregnancy update. I could not believe that it was 35 weeks when I was writing my notes. I'm like, wait, am I 34 weeks or 35 weeks? And sure enough, it's 35 weeks. I'm due July 9th, 2015. We're expecting a baby girl. We are at a new office. It's still affiliated. It's the same exact name. Um, but this one has midwives, so it was really easy to transfer over. The new office is not as um, big. It's, it's in a big building, but like when you walk in, it's a lot more cozy, you know, um, a smaller environment, and not so big. Like there's a bunch of people in the waiting room <laughs> at the one I was in. Uh, but now it's a lot more cozy, and um, I switched to a midwife. Now, the midwife that I have, she is in a partnership with another midwife. So if for some reason uh, one of them can't see me, the other one will step in her place. And the, um, the uh, waiting, like the room that I was in was much nicer and much more comfortable. I, I think my midwife was very, very awesome. Like I was so happy when I met her. Um, she talked to me about um, having another VBAC, which is in the plan, like in my plans, to have another VBAC, and she reassured me that everything was good uh, for that. Um, she uh, checked the baby's position, and she said, from what she felt, it seemed like the baby was already head down. It was just very, very personable, as opposed to like the doctors that I had in my other office was just kind of like in and out. It was like I didn't know who what doctor I was going to have for my next appointment and who they were. They would come in and just say, everything okay? All right, bye, you know? So I was really happy that she came in, you know, she she talked to me first, she sat down and, you know, explained how they work and asked me if I had any questions. It was really, it was a great experience. And honestly, when she um, left, I was literally smiling because I was just so, it felt so right to be with um, my midwife and not at my doctor, like the normal OBGYN that I was with. Not to say anything bad about them, but she just made me feel so much more comfortable and it was just a relief. You know, I'm already, here I am like 35 weeks and I wanted a midwife so bad and finally I found the office that was right for me. So anyways, my last appointment, I was 125. So, I'm not sure how much I gained. <laughs> I'm not feeling many symptoms other than now I'm having the more frequent urination where I'll stand up and it just feels like I need to use the bathroom right away. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm just nesting a lot now. I'm just really getting everything prepared. I ended up going to some garage sales and getting some really cute clothes, not only for the baby, but for my other daughters as well. We got really good deals. And I actually went through a lot of my daughter's old clothes because I had gotten rid of, um, I think it was like zero to six months I had gotten rid of. So um, trying to replenish that was the bigger deal. But all, I just went through all the clothes. I took out any stains. I washed them. And now I'm just in the process of putting them in the correct bins and um, according to the seasons and everything. So that is has been keeping me really busy, and alongside that, I've been just trying to do things around the house, um, preparing for the baby, and that way I don't have a big um, project on my hand when the baby's here. My husband and I have just been really excited. We're anxious, well, not anxiously, we're patiently awaiting her arrival, and we're just really excited for the kids to finally like meet their sibling, their new sister, and you know, welcome her home. I'm just really excited about the whole thing, having a newborn again, and you know, having that addition for them, and you know, it's just, it's really, it feels very happy, and I'm not at all nervous about delivery and stuff like that. I just... I'm going with the flow right now. <laughs> My upcoming appointment will be a sonogram and then just the prenatal exam as well. And I think they're doing the beta strep uh, culture as well. If she's head down at that time, 
it might probably be harder to see her uh, facial features. I remember like with my son and my daughter, it was a lot harder to see once they were head down. Um, their face was a little more smushed and everything, but we'll see. I'm just, I'm really happy about the whole situation, about which uh, doctor's office I'm at. Yeah, I just, I, and I'm really happy that I'm feeling well, you know, to be able to walk around the house and not get, like, overly tired, to be able to clean and not get, you know, back pain. I just feel really fortunate to be feeling so well um, this late in my pregnancy. So we'll see how I feel at 37 weeks and 38 weeks around there, but... That, for me, is a blessing in itself. Um, I am dealing with some things with my youngest daughter right now. Um, she's been, like, having some symptoms that I've been having to go to the doctor, and we're dealing with that. It's a little hard to be pregnant and dealing with that, but, um, you know, it just, ha these things happen. You know, you have a family, you have to deal with these things. <laughs> and there's... Not much else. I mean, if you have any other questions about my plans for anything, then uh, leave them down below. But other than that, it's just in God's hands, and we're just taking it one day at a time. So let me get into the belly bump, and then we'll be on our way. Here is my 35 week. I'm 35 weeks today. This is my belly from the side, from the front. And from the other side. And we'll do our little measurement. The last time we did it was at 33 weeks. And I think it was like 39 and a half, I believe. Oh my goodness. Yes, I grew. Let me make sure this is right. <laughs> it is at... 40, it looks a little bit over 40 inches. So, I definitely grew in the last two weeks. That's it for my 35 week update. I hope I didn't miss anything. If you have any questions for my next video, leave the uh, in the comments down below. And make sure you follow me on my Facebook. Facebook.com backslash Super Susie Homemaker, just like my channel name. And make sure to subscribe so, um, you can follow me for the rest of my pregnancy and see baby when she's born. And yeah, but definitely follow me on my Facebook because there is where I'll probably be doing all my pregnancy updates. And I'm also planning at the end of my pregnancy, maybe at 38 weeks, to go ahead and start doing like vlogs. And that way you can kind of see the excitement of, you know, it's getting down to the, the end of the pregnancy here and you can experience that with me the the excitement all right uh hit thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye